My God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. So now that we've had our morning coffee, remember I told you guys, stay tuned for more. Today is about to be more. The more you around, the more you find out. So normally I don't do these pseudo unboxing videos out there, but there's been some products that I've appreciated as far as reproductions and even better productions of something that has been in service for a long time. And that is the M249 ammo boxes, affectionately known as the nutsack, as well as the starter taps. So there's a small company, Tribe Tactical, that I've ordered from, and I'm actually quite pleased with their stuff. And I just got another shipment from them today. And we're going to unbox it for you all you guys and gals and for the world to see. So let's kind of get after it and uh, open it up and see what we got in here. Nothing spectacular. They'll send you a cardboard box with tape on it. Ooh. What's the big deal? Open her up and see what we got inside. It's got some packing material in there. Seal there. And look what we got, everybody. There's the goods right there. So we have our M249 ammo boxes. This is the Tribe Tactical Supply BFM 100 Magazine Type 2. This is where it's at, folks. If you own M249s or Phylite MCRs, this is the goods. This is what you want to get right here. So we should have six of them, if I remember right. Yep, we got six total. And then another pack of starter tabs with an M27 link attached to them. These ones are the either coyote or tan. I can't remember which ones I order, but they offer like multiple different colors. These happen to be the tan ones. Let's get that box out of the way. Get the f out of here. Let's check out what we got in one of these ammo pouches. So it comes with a little lever here. The drawn reciprocation dingle arm. Lever, a uh, letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Dear John. The soft magazine is designed to fit the FN M249 saw, FN mini me, M249 clones, Daewoo K3, K15, fight light MCR, family with adapter. The Knight's Armament, Stoner LMG, Stoner 86, Stoner 96, Taiwan T75, and then it has a note here, the BFM 100 belt, M27 linked ammunition, the magazine resists ammo belt tangling, keeps the environment out of your links, which helps, and helps manage signature when moving. It is a 100% laser cut mil spec laminate hydrocoptic marzal veins so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft and other mil spec materials designed to take the wear and tear of austere environments worldwide can store four side by side in standard 50 caliber ammo can to save space and weight very compliant made in utah in the usa tribe tactical supply.com so there you go, folks. And then it has more info in the back, kind of how to load it, how to uh, manage it. You're fired. Oh, right. You're unfired. I need you. Come here. So essentially, let's take a look at this thing. So here's what we got. So unlike the original USGI nutsacks for the saw, it had a zipper through the middle. And from what I understand, this company also makes that legacy design, if you will, in their Type 1 variation. This one is the Type 2, and I actually like this a little bit better. So it has a snap and a zipper throw, just like your typical nutsacks will have. 
and you unzip it instead of unzipping it through the middle and then there you go it exposes where you load your rounds so and that kind of feed tower or this top part whatever you want to call it it has your trapezoid bracket that locks into your either mag adapter on a fight light right here or on a saw uh, Sender. but the feed tower is what i refer to it as um, essentially, you'll link up your ammunition, 100 rounds, or you can get about, like, comfortably, like, between 112, 118 without uh, encountering, like, stoppages or jamming, especially with the fight light, because once you pull that belt up into the feed tray of the weapon, it's going to draw a little bit of that belt out, and uh, you'll have a little bit of room in there for the slot for the ammo to come out. So you can get away in a fight light loading a few more rounds than I think you could have saw because of the distance and height between where the rounds are coming out here and then in the feed tray of the uh, gun itself. So, but essentially that's what this is. And all these other ones. And we have some assistant back here. Thank you, Walter. You're welcome. I've got one of my Fight light MCRs, boop, 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 boop. going all Rambo style, if you will. So, but basically, you have your magazine bracket adapter right there. You take this bad boy. Bad boy's here. You're gonna have to do some uh, wheeling and dealing around the world, and love to do a video on that bad boy. Even if I have to go to Sweden, bad boy counter. He uses that bad boy counter, and you could. Any kid. Any kid. Pop that bad boy right in that magazine bracket right there. You can raise your feed tray cover and you're ready to load those rounds, baby. And you're ready to go full hua, full retard. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. Whatever you want to call it. Very nice, and it uh, is a quality product. One thing I will say is something that I do when I get brand new ammo boxes with these style is I'll stretch these feed lips just slightly. Not too much, but just slightly, and it prevents any of the links getting bound up on this inner lip here. And then in the past, when I haven't done that, I've had an ammo belt come out of one of these and like delink itself and then the rest of the belt falls back into your ammo box, which is no bueno. So essentially that's what we got. So now that I got a fight light in my hand. So pretty solid weapon system as long as you know what you're doing. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, Phil, not a clue. When you got to maintain it, it's a maintenance intensive weapon. You got to know your with this gun. Um, we can go over our starter tab. So we got our use with the M249 saw, Aries Defense Strike, Fight Light, FN Mini Me, Stenag Disintegrating Belt Platforms. M27 strike link and it has I don't know if it's injection molded or 3d printed it kind of looks injection molded to me but you have your starter tab so we'll go ahead and open up these bad boys right here we got 10 of these bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. so you're gonna have 10 different belts and you put that for your first round inside your M249 ammo box and that's what enables you to pull the belt out of the ammo box. You'll open your feed tray cover, you'll place your rounds in the feed tray, and it will nicely align your rounds in the feed tray of the gun so that when you either release your bolt catch, chamber round, it falls away, or with the saw, 
you can pull the trigger and be assured that your weapon is going to go bum, 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 instead of click. So if you have just a belt without these starter tabs, there is a chance or a possibility that you can load the gun incorrectly and that when you load that gun incorrectly, it's not going to work. That's not my problem. It's yours. And we want it to work. Oh, shoot! I'm out of the boats. No, that's not going to work. The Sig Mag. It'll work. Promise. Watch. You're welcome. That's essentially what I got for you guys today. Maybe we'll do another unboxing video soon. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe yourself. This isn't normally what I do, but uh, we're trying it out. So thanks for stopping by and stay tuned for more. See you on the next one. Sumatran beans. And I also have to give credit to the grind.